Hi, I'm William Osmond, and when life gives you lemons, Mark Rober calls you and says, Make me a giant lemon battery! Anyways, let's get a lemon so we can test out a lemon battery kids science kit that we bought. Here's a truck coming looking at us like, what are we doing? And we're making internet videos. We already played with the kids science kit, so it's kind of already put together and gross looking. William, you might be asking, what in the world are you gonna do with a lemon battery? You probably read the title actually already, so you know what we're gonna do. Uh, I am not good at multitasking. We want to try and make lemonade using power from lemons to squeeze a lemon. They really are not, ooh, that smells good. It's like fresh citrusy. But how does a lemon battery work? Well, I will tell you this, it's not actually powered by lemons. It's, oh my God, there's too many wires. It's powered by a chemical reaction between copper and zinc. The lemon is simply part of a reaction between the metals. I'm not a chemist though, so I don't really want to explain too many things because I know I'm going to say something wrong. Long story short, this lemon is totally powering a clock right now. How much power is this lemon battery generating? That's the question we need to find out. Spoilers, not, not much. It's a very bad battery which is going to cause us a lot of problems. We got a current meter. Here, my Johnny, you want to do me a solid and grab the multimeter? It's the yellow thing. I think it should be next to the other camera. Yep, that's it. Perfect, thank you, actually. Uh, how many volts does a lemon battery make? And what does that mean? Point 0.9? Oh wow, that's a lot actually. I was expecting less. What we're gonna do next is measure how much short circuit current. 0.3 milliamps, but it's slowly going down because the battery can't keep up with it. 0.2 milliamps. Let's compare it to a double A. 4.8 amps. The double A battery puts out 24,000 times more current than the lemon battery. That's how bad lemon batteries are. Do we need 10,000 lemons to power our lemon squeezing machine? Or do we need... How many lemons do we need to make a lemon battery big enough to power our lemon squeezing machine? Or do we have to cheat the lemon squeezing machine so that we can use less lemon batteries? Boom! This is our model of a lemon battery. The internal resistance is basically how fast the battery can produce electricity. Imagine you have a bag of cats. You got a bag with two openings, right? And on this side, you have a, a small man who's shoving cats in. So you can measure that and I'm not I tried explaining internal battery resistance to cameraman John, but he wasn't getting it. We found a couple of kids, or three kids to be exact. Oh, we're making a lemon battery, by the way. We've actually already made it. You see this clock? Is that exciting? <laughs> no. If I turn this way, it looks like head up and down shaking. If you have a battery, oh, this is not gonna go well. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine that you're riding your bike, and your bike, is up in the air, the tire is not touching the ground. And you can pedal, and it's really easy to pedal, right? Oh no. <laughs> you see, the problem is I'd be like, I start to explain the analogy, but then the setup doesn't make any sense. So what we're trying to do is figure out how much power a lemon battery makes. Because we need to make lemonade, and the machine to make lemonade needs power. But to figure out how many batteries we need, lemon batteries that is, we need to calculate how much power a lemon battery can generate. To calculate how much power a lemon battery can generate, we can draw a simple circuit of a battery, which if everyone can see, is a simple resistor, and another resistor, and it's actually it's just two resistors. And there's some voltage too, but that's not important. Oh no. This is really boring. And that gives us a pretty good idea of what the power of our lemon battery is and how many lemons we need to make. Oh wait, we don't make the lemons, the trees do, and then we just steal them. How many lemon batteries we need to make in order to power our lemon squeezer. That's what we're doing. Did I, did I tell you guys? No, you never. Oh yeah, we're trying to squeeze a no, lemon using lemon did power. Did I? You did. Okay. They are very How do I... I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Do you want to see my spreadsheet? 
<laughs> More information on my blog, but we can calculate that the internal resistance of the second, like the better lemon battery with the plates is about a thousand ohms, which is significantly better. That means we have a uh, possibility of generating, wait a second. This will maybe help us figure out how many lemon batteries we need to make to get where we want to go. The internal resistance of one of those cells is about a thousand ohms. So blah, 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 woobly, 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 bobbly. We want that number to be as low as possible. To get that number to go lower, we add more cells together in parallel. Imagine you had a giant lemon that could cover the entire surface area of that copper strip. Or what we can do is have a bunch of smaller lemons that fit onto the copper and zinc plate. That will give us a lower internal resistance, which means the chemistry can happen faster, which means we can have more electricity traveling through our lemon squeezing machine. 56 cells together, so the most efficient power transfer would be about 13 milliwatts. Jeez. That's pretty bad. <laughs> I have no idea how we're gonna make this work. We sort of told Mark with relatively high confidence we could make this work, and I, I like having problems that are open-ended where failure is an option, but this whole thing is set up to actually make it kind of work. I guess. <laughs> Let me show you my other tab really quick. All right, let's go back to the spreadsheet. You know what, let's go to Fry's, let's buy a motor. And then we can go to Hot Dog and get Costco. We need as much of a gear reduction as possible. And so I think we're literally gonna just buy all of these and hope for the best. And actually, <laughs> I know it's Mark's video to like show different like orders of magnitude of generating power, but solar panel included for this one, output one volt at 75 milliamps. That's literally what we're trying to do with like a hundred lemons. We got the planetary gear, we got the whatever that is, we got the, the whatever that is, and I think that's good enough. That doesn't help us, cameraman John. It's a dinosaur model. We should probably go and work on this. No, we were gonna say that we like bite off more than we can chew and then we were gonna get a Costco hot dog and take too big of a bite and chew it as like an analogy. I really, really hope that we're able to piece this thing together and I'm concerned that... Hi Mark, how's it going? Good, we know exactly what we're doing. We're driving to LA right now to pick up two really expensive sheets of zinc, two really expensive sheets of copper to go and water jet them. And the guy who sells the zinc said that he would wait for us like an hour. We're buying zinc, we're buying copper, we're making a giant lemon battery. Mark Rober is not gonna hate us when we totally fail and none of this works. Sorry, Mark. Hello, I called about getting two sheets of zinc. Also, is there any way to cut them in half? Uh... The most efficient method of doing things is to do first and think later. I'm not really sure what I'm getting at, but long story short, the zinc we got does not fit in the car, so we had to ask them to cut it in half. I don't think they're super stoked with us. Sorry. Well, I don't want to it. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, yeah this car has seen better days. Oh, the car is what uh. about the material. Yes! Okay, everything's going as planned. Now we gotta rush over to industrial metal supply and buy copper. Um, it's kind of funny, they're being really careful with the zinc because it's it's like, you can ding it and scratch it easily. It's, I don't care. We're just gonna shove a bunch of lemons onto it. That's $800 worth of zinc. That is so expensive. <laughs> We are here. Oh, dude, this place is huge, let's go check it out. You might have to be discreet. I doubt, no one's happy when we film. So just pretend like you're taking pictures of birds. Can I place an order here? How do I? You have to go inside the showroom. Popper? Yeah, can I get them cut in half? Kind of half in which way? Um, cut them in half, hot dog way. <laughs> I feel like we're in the doctor's office waiting for an appointment, but nope. We gotta wait for our copper sheets. Did another woman's boyfriend, husband or boyfriend get you pregnant and you want to prove it with a DNA test? That show's still on? The Murray Show? 
Do you need a quarter? Here's four quarters. We have to go take this to the water jet, cut a bunch of pieces. Oh, we didn't. This is embarrassing. Why would you sign up to be on a show like this? We're supposed to get four pieces. That's two pieces. And I really hope that that's not what that costs because if two pieces cost that, then... <laughs> oh God. Okay. I'm right, they're wrong. We didn't want like a cutoff, we wanted just to cut it in half because we can't fit it in my car otherwise. So I'm pretty sure having a small car has so far cost us about an hour. What does that mean, we buy a bigger car? We just get two of them and glue them together. <laughs> Be careful, this stuff will slice your hands open. This is like $1,500 <laughs> with some sheet metal. Oh my God. Hello? Is this aliens? What up, aliens? Oh, they hung up. Would you consider yourself a lemon battery expert? Yes. This seems we're, like we're gonna change that. it's renewable energy. <laughs> Solar power, <laughs> dirt powered. What else goes into plants? Uh, Max makes a really good point. So Max makes a really good point. What matters here is surface area. Is Max a chemist? Yes. So he knows what he's talking about? Yes. Thanks, Max. He's over there. He says hi. Thanks, Max. What, uh, what's all over the front of yours? Stained. You look like a gastrologist. Wait, so we, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? It's a butt doctor. That's you know, a like, proctologist. So you're saying someone with a GI tract problem couldn't do that to a lab coat? No, I didn't say that. I'm saying the person <laughs> oh, who- That's what I'm getting. All right, I'm leaving. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to a place that I have friends at, and that's where we're gonna water jet it, and then they're also gonna help us with a lemon battery. I think that's all the details. What's going to give you the peak current? I'm just trying to make Mark Rober not angry at me. Well, that's unavoidable. <laughs> I think we've all seen your videos. Yeah. We know how this is gonna it's end. Gonna, I feel, <laughs> the idea of William Osmond is great, but William Osmond in real life is significantly more miserable. No, no, I don't think that's the wrong story. Really? Look at it. The idea of how, would, how would you compare what? William Osmond in real life versus William Osmond in the videos? Oh, they're both equally fun and equally ineffectual. <laughs> William Osmond in real life is great, super yeah. fun. Doesn't get it done. Mm -hmm. Thing doesn't work. The videos, they work. No, the videos are like a product of that. Okay. The videos are an observation. They're outside the You're system. saying it's about the adventure what I'm saying is and not I about the end made, product. You're not helping not me with my like future job prospects Correct. when YouTube collapses from underneath us. That's right. And they're gonna point out this video. You're out of control, William. You're Austin. out of control, I'm James. Like you got a jacket covered in poop. No, it's wood stain. What are we doing? Science. <laughs> No, for it, science. Pull what? it out, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. Let's put them closer together pull in this one. for science. <laughs> You're supposed to let the audience Family come show! In. That's where families come from. Oh, okay. Have we determined anything or are we just sticking our hands in lemon juice? The amount of juice we can get in contact with the plates does regulate the reaction. What time is it? It's water jet time. <laughs> Ooh, what kind of music's on this one? Dubstep? <laughs> what would happen if you put apple juice in it instead of water? Is apple juice incompressible? I think it would be fine. a thousand more of these. How many lemons did Mark say we were getting? Was it 600 lemons? Do we want to cut them in half? We're trying to figure out the best orientation for the lemon. So with the lemon halves, what happens when you kind of shove it on there, they kind of juice themselves and fall apart and you don't end up with good contact on the metal. We're thinking if you leave the lemon whole and just shove the probe into the side of it, like so, you pull that out you can kind of use the lemon to seal the probe and then the serration sort of let you dig this into the lemon. We either need to buy a lot more lemons or... Parts will fall through if you don't catch them. It's like fishing. Oh god. Uh, 
That's all scrap. Get to the copper. Get to the copper. Oh no, sorry. And here is the current pile of zinc and copper. It's 145, almost two. Now it's 150. Thanks for helping, James. Good luck. Yeah, I got a doctor's appointment in like four hours. <laughs> I have to drive home. Okay, bye. You get to drive home. You gotta wait. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Just watering my zinc and copper on a lovely Saturday afternoon. It's very hot. It's very hot. Actually, I got it. Are you ready to build a giant lemon battery? One box of lemons. <laughs> There's so many boxes of lemons. How hot is this supposed to get? Uh, I think like 110. No, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh God. <laughs> We're gonna need a hammer. You think Mark's neighbors ever get really confused as to what's going on next door? We have enough zinc and copper for 1170 something lemons. Hey, Mark! We're on our own camera, John. We've been abandoned. Two pieces of wood, a piece of copper. Just hammer it in. Come on out, Mark. I see you there. You, you can't hide. Oh, yeah. How, does, uh, how many lemons do we need for the world record? Is it nice and air conditioned in there? It's very nice. This is a very big, very expensive lemon battery. Mark gave us a budget and we blew way past it. <laughs> it's okay though. Is it? I hope it's okay. Maybe Mark hates us now. <laughs> and then just kind of easy hammer taps and it just, I mean, you could push it by hand, but then you're like, it's kind of sharp and you'll just, you'll bleed everywhere and you don't want blood on your lemon. It, oh, maybe blood works. Blood lemons? That's actually a thing. Well, not the lemons, but like the battery, like a blood battery. Oh, yeah. That's a lot. A lot of racks. That is a lot of racks. Would you say that they're nice racks? Excellent racks. Are we really? Action! Well, the guy ripped me off. He said he had like all these amazing lemons and a lot of them are really small, but I think in the end that's well, what What grade are they? And when you say it, drag it out. They L2? are. L2? I oh, forget. What did is I it, say? Is it A and B? I <laughs> He said. I you say, say they're, they're B lemons. B lemons? <laughs> 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 One of the most obvious signs of the bee lemons is they'll be surrounded by bees. When you don't know what you need, you buy one of everything. Oh god, the blow dart. <laughs> Looks like this is no longer a collab. <laughs> this actually smells bad. But you can't not wear it, otherwise it's... I'm not sure how much this we've explained and how well we've explained it. You pull the weight up, and then this is locked in place by the motor, unclamp the output string, and it pulls the lemon juicing mechanism, whatever that is, because we haven't exactly decided yet. <laughs> <laughs> All we have to do is make sure every single cell is touching every other cell in a good touch, no bad touch. And this is no touch. It's the combination of series and parallel. Yep. Parallel, 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 yep. parallel, parallel. Yep. And then we would add them all up in series. Yep. So you'd get the current from one entire cell and then the voltage from all the cells together. Yep. The problem with that is that would put our like positive terminal over there and our negative terminal over there, so then we'd have to run a wire over there. Uh -huh. And so I decided to rewire it and take probably twice as much time by jumping from parallel parallel to parallel parallel. As long as it works, we'll be great. How often do things go wrong when you guys... Never. Never. Yeah?
<laughs> I've never seen it sag down this <laughs> Oh, are we about to spend like 30 minutes or an hour shoving lemons onto okay, this thing? Okay, let's make estimates on how long this will take. An hour. You got gum in your teeth. Dude, you could have said that when we started filming this morning. <laughs> I don't think I've been chewing. Did you brush your teeth last night? I did, and this morning. But I don't think I chewed gum today. It's okay. You just catch me lying. There's more. Oh. <laughs> it's like broccoli except neon green. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's, let's check our cells. I think we only had how many problems? Three shorts or four shorts? And they were all, they were on, whoa, whoa. <laughs> on the lemons you were putting on. 4.85 volts and short circuit current of 350 milliamps and dropping. If this doesn't spin, we're kind of screwed. Yeah. <gasps> yes! yes! Oh my God, yes! Dude, this is so cool. This is literally being driven by this wall of lemons. Wow. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Let me get my, my probes and we can measure the current and the voltage and see what power we're generating. Wait, Mark, do you have a gerbil? I do have a gerbil. No, no, a gerbil. Oh, I don't have a... No, it's a hamster. There's a project I've always wanted to do involving a hamster. So what was your confidence level in actually having this whole thing work? before we because showed up. it was like a William P. Osmond production? Yeah. Hi. Was it really? <laughs> Did you at some point have doubt where you're just like, oh God, I've made a huge mistake? <laughs> no, I, it's always with these things. You always assume they'll work. I mean, the assumption was I would have to do the engineering to make it work. Okay. But that so it was like, if work. I let you down, it would just be more work for you. Yeah, exactly. It was just like, how much would I have to put into this? Yeah. Also, can we talk about your Amazon basic purchasing history? Sure. Everything here is labeled Amazon <laughs> basic. Like, is the canopy still out? The folding canopy is Amazon basic. The keyboard Amazon. and mouse in there are Amazon <laughs> basic. Like, I have seen more. I didn't even know they sold this much Amazon, like, especially the canopy. Why would I go to the store when I could just like click a button? All right, what's the setup? We got a motor. We got two, three pulleys. Look at that one's bound up, so we gotta fix that. And there's a clamp on the rope. So what happens is that motor will turn on, pull that pulley in, which will lift the lemon bag without moving the, the right. squeeze, what do you call You'll this? You'll see this pulley come all the way and get really close to the motor. <laughs> this is really cool. I was worried that the, the Look, load would be too much, but it's- it's actually coming off the ground right now. Three, two, one. Yeah, boy! <laughs> oh, it fell off the pulley. Ah! Why does it fall off the pulleys? <laughs> Reset. We cheated this time, though, because we it did it once. <laughs> yeah! How much juice did that oh, make? Tons. Mark's video, your video that you made with us because you were here the whole time, audience. We power a supercar. Yeah, like how to uh, powering a supercar with all these lemons. Your video is going to demonstrate how terrible our video is. Let's go sell what little lemonade we have left. Let's go sell it. Here we go. How many lemons do you need for lemonade? Oh, look, we even have lemon hats to wear. Kind of looks like a little yamaka. Like a lemaka. <laughs> a le lemon ka. Lemonade. Get Yay! your lemonade. There's no customers, Mark. Why are there no customers? 